Hello everyone. I've been taking a little break from uh, doing videos. So I'm back now and uh, I'm doing this uh, this request here, hard request, and then I'm going to take some more. Um, the next video I post will be, will have instructions on how to hire me to do a video. From the response I've been getting, I think it's going to fill up pretty fast. Um, <clears throat> So be watching for that if you were wanting to hire me to do a song. Be ready to jump on the ball for that because I'm only I have a certain number in my head that I'm only gonna take and that's all I can take. And I'll probably be doing this next batch for about uh, maybe you know four or five months. So uh, if you want to get on the list, uh, that will be the time to do it. I'll post a video about it, or you can follow me on Facebook. So you can watch me on YouTube or Facebook to do that. But this is uh, the last of the batch, um, and it's called Something Old, Something New, uh, from a movie called Melanie uh, that came out in 1982. And uh, I've never seen the movie, but uh, this is what the, the person wanted, so this is what I'm doing. Um, and it sounds like this, at least the intro. Uh, again, this is called Something Old, Something New. This is core, of course, is the free part one I put on YouTube. The rest of it is on my website for members, which is webpianoteacher.com. This is the way I make a living, so that's why the, the rest of the videos are on my website. Um, you can find me on Facebook uh, to just see what I'm up to. It's, it's the best way to get a hold of me, to contact me. Um, just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. You can also find me on Twitter. My name is Web Piano Teacher there. So let's get to this uh, song here. It's not too difficult, uh, some pretty easy chords with it. So here we go with the intro A, D, F sharp. That is a D chord in an inversion. A, D, F sharp, left hand's on a D octave, as you can see there. D on the thumb, D on the pinky, play it together. All right, and then we're gonna move the right hand down just a bit and do F sharp, A, D, and F sharp. Now, you have to move your fingers in between the black keys to do that. Whenever you have a thumb on a black key and you have a chord, you have to move your, your hand in between the black keys a little bit to be able to play. Some people really resist that and try to avoid doing that, but get comfortable with that. Fingers in between the black keys. F sharp, A, D, F sharp, ba, 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 ba. So you play this together. Ba, 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 ba. Now this comes together, the left hand D here on the thumb, one. Now you play this together, which is A, C sharp, E, left hand on a C sharp octave, play it together, and then we're going to play it together again, and then F sharp, E. And so the rhythm for this first box is one. Okay, I'm holding the pedal down to sustain for this first part and then I change it here when the left hand changes. In fact, that's a good rule of thumb. Whenever the chord changes or whenever the left hand changes it is a good time to change the pedal. Because um, probably when the left hand changes the chord is changing. <coughs> now this next box here is bun. Ba, ba. Okay, so this is going to be F sharp, B, and D. Left hand is going to be on a B octave. Play that together. And then we're going to have B, D, F sharp. Left hand on a B octave. So we just play the same chord, we just move the inversion up. This one is lower, this one is higher. And then we're going to change one note here. We're going to change the B to an A. So we have A, D, F sharp. Left hand is going to change from a B octave to an A octave. And these are quick. And sometimes when you have a quick change there, I'll do that, a little slur, ba -bum. so ba -bum, ba -bum. change the pedal on both of those, okay, then we're going to have this, let's put another G in here, just to help with the rhythm in between, so that's going to be G, D, G, <coughs> all 
Alright, it's an open fifth chord. It's missing the third in the middle. It gives us a certain sound that we want sometimes. Left hand's on a G octave. And then we're going to change to A, D, G. Then we're going to put the left hand back in, in between. And then play A, D, G again. And then back to G, D, G. Ba, 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 ba. See how the first one you play fast and the second one you hold. Ba, 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 ba. Left hand plays here and then in between. So it goes... Starting here, go. One. Da, 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 ba, ba. Let's do it again. Go. One. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Um, <clears throat> pause your video. Take make use of that pause button to you know to hear a little bit and work on it, and then then go ahead. Um, if you're learning it, really learning it. Um, I, I don't intend for anyone that's learning it to be able to just not pause the video at all and go straight through. So don't feel bad at all if you are hitting the pause button and stop it. You need to do that. All right. Um, let's do the first two boxes together now. Okay. Ready. Go. One. Now I want to tell you to feel free to play the left hand more than I just wrote it, you know, more than just these, you know, this is just the skeleton there. If you want to put, I put an extra B in there, so you go, bum, 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 bum. That's fine to do that. Scratched out a note a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> oh, man, I just uh, ruined my marker. I tried to hit the top when it fell off and pushed the tip of it all the way in. And it won't come out. Oh well. Okay. And earlier I had a board out and had it completely done. And I was trying to kill a fly in the kitchen. And it landed on the whiteboard. And I <laughs> took a rag and swung and, and almost wiped the whole thing off. So, all right. Bad day for markers, I guess. Okay. Um, let's do this first two boxes again. Ready? Go. One. sharp, just like the beginning, left hand's on a D octave, play that together, and then the left hand's going to play these two Ds separated, the bottom D and then the top one, ba ba, so one, ba ba, and then the right hand's going to do something really fast, maybe this will still work a little bit, okay, and it's ba 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 ba, ba da da da, so one, a two, ba 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 ba, E, left hand's on a C sharp octave, play it, and play it again, same thing, and then F sharp E, just like here, and then I put a down arrow because we're just going to play this again, just this box, so play just this box, ready, go, and then we can do the next board and start the verse, where the singing starts, okay, next board is where the verse begins. So you play all the way through, and then play this box one more time, and don't play this one, so I'll do that on the next board. All right, let's go all the way through it now. Ready, go, one. See how I drop down there and play that box one more time? All right, the next board will start the verse. Again, pay attention if you're going, if you want to hire me for a request, uh, you'll have to do it in this window that I open up <clears throat> when I post a video on YouTube and on my Facebook and with instructions on, on how to do that totally. So it, it's really easy. You just have to be ready to do it whenever I open up the doors there. And there's a the part one. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you around.